Hello everyone, welcome to the channel once again. In this video, I'm going to tell you how can you add IDM extension in Google Chrome if your IDM is in non-working condition or corrupted in any way. So this video will help you to fix it. So first make sure you download the original IDM from the real site and install. And now let's begin with the real steps. So guys, as of now, you can see the internet browser that I'm using is Google Chrome. And if I right click, then you can see there is no plugin extension merge into the options. So how to get this? Let's see. First open Chrome extension through URL window and the real process begins from here. As you can see the IDM is already installed but the plugin extension doesn't exist in browser. So now you need to open windows like uh, uh, the file explorer, go to the C drive, program files x86, internet download manager and now you have to look for the file extension named as idmgcext.crx and now uh, we have to look for it and that's this is the uh, file which will be already available in this directory so now you just have to drag and drop it into the browser to add this idm integration module just click over add extension and that's it all done now now you can see the message idm extension is says successfully installed for google chrome and now if you want to use this extension in incognito mode then you need to apply some extra additional permissions because by default this plugin is only available for normal mode. Now let me show you this uh, with the incognito mode. No IDM plugin uh, is available as of now. So how to get this in incognito mode? Let's see. So again you have to come to the Chrome extension window and click on details over internet download manager extension. Now you will be able to see all the additional extra options in it. Click over details and now hit the allow in incognito mode and that's it. Again, uh, from now uh, you just have to tap it on the radio button. Now the plugin of IDM will be available in both normal and incognito mode for private browsing and downloading. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and similar to it you can allow any extension in incognito mode and you can enjoy the maximum productivity from it. Thanks for watching once again. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.